Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of digital planning. Yeah, so lately I stumbled over something really exciting. So what does excite me so much? It's a digital planner and it is in my iPad. So uh, when I swipe it to the left, you see it looks like a planner. And I bought it from Boho Berry, papery. And um, one special thing about it is that I can type here on each of these uh, little tabs on the right and it jumps directly into the month. And when I swipe to the left, it has even the weeks under it. So let's do that. And um, I can also type here on the right and it jumps to an empty book, something like that. So I can write something down myself and put in uh, papers and then start writing. And I do all that on my iPad, which is pretty handy because I just put that thing into my uh, back and take it wherever I want to and everything I need to plan and have with me it is with me the planner never gets full and the great thing is also that it is undated so I can just put my own dates so let's jump here so I can just write down I'm using the Apple pencil you don't have to but if you want um, and uh, right here, one, two, three, whatever. And if I want to get rid of that, it's also no big deal. I can just go ahead, use the tool, and it's all done. Yeah, and what is even cooler about um, this kind of uh, digital planning is that I can use it as a scrapbook. Um, scrapbooking is about preserving your life. And um, that is what I can do with my planner as well. So let's go into the July. And here you can already see I have put some pictures and wrote something what I did. And I put an element and something hand drawn. So what does it mean? It means that you can put everything, all images and all kind of stuff into your digital planner. And that is what I want to show you now because here on the right side, the first tab is my sticker book. And in this sticker book, you can see I have put elements from the digital scrapbooking kit, say cheese. And the good thing about that is I just reduced the size of the elements. And now the good thing is that I can use that for planning. How do I do that? So just a basic overview. I grab that tool here and uh, draw inside this element and you see uh, it gets here some yeah selected it's a selected thing and when you type in it you just um, copy that element you really need to yeah so you need to type in the middle what you have drawn and then click copy and then you switch back into July when you have chosen the read only mode, July. And now I swipe to the left and you see an empty wig. And then I just uh, go here and say paste and my element is inside. So now I can put it wherever I want to. I can even make it bigger or smaller. So let's do that. I just can say resize and then I can grab that here and uh, make it a bit bigger or smaller whatever I want. You see, this is how it looks. And when I'm done, I just type here and it's on the right. And um, yeah, I can also add these die cut boxes, for example. So let's jump back into the sticker book. Always go into read only mode. Swipe to the left, grab a new element. So let's say I want this box here. So I first need to select that one type here type in it and then click copy again and then we go back to july once we have chosen the read only mode um and swipe to the left again and type in here and say paste well, i've been quick enough paste okay so here's my box and now you see it's pretty small, but it doesn't matter. As you know from the first time, we can click on resize and I make it as big as I need it to be. So not a big deal. If I want it here, 
just uh, drag it and drop it and resize whatever you want to and make it smaller now it's sometimes you need to get used to that a little bit tricky but it works it works pretty good so I type in it and um, just get another sticker to put it on here and okay back into read only mode back into my sticker book then swipe to the left grab another sticker with a selection tool so let's see um, I smell smile for the camera that one copy read only mode back to July swipe to the left put in here paste and you have your yeah your sticker here on it so I want to put it on my die cut box so I just type in again and say resize and now I can make it a bit smaller and put it into my die cut box here and even better if I want another element and I want to because I want the camera here um I go back read only mode sticker book swipe to the left selection tool camera let's shoot that one type in click copy read only mode july and then swipe to the left type in here i guess you get it it's pretty easy it's pretty straightforward you need to get used to it yes but you will be quick doing that so it's not a big deal it's also for non-techies no problem but you see now i have put together my own die cut box if i don't want it to be just gray i can just put something on it and i have something really nice so now i can go on and put more elements and write down all the things i want to be added here and then i have a really nice planner page and i can even put pictures so i preserve my life with scrapbooking basically in a digital planner so try it you i bet you will enjoy it i hope you enjoyed this video and if so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel click the little bell to be notified whenever we post a new video and give us a thumb up maybe and under the video you always find all the information needed and yeah enjoy the creative process enjoy scrapbooking your life